Let me ask you a question. Do you get this feeling that no matter how hard you try, you can't get unstuck in certain areas of your life? This could be with your weight. You may have been struggling with your weight for like 10 years. You've tried every program. You've tried every diet. And it's just not sticking for some reason. And you may not know it, but your lack of success in that area of your life, right? Your physical form. It's affecting every fucking area of your life. It's affecting your relationship with your significant other. It's affecting your career. It's affecting your ability to be a good father, a good brother, a, a good man. Because you are compromised. And I'm going to talk to you about how to turn that around. And the key, because this one choice, this one decision has the potential to change and improve every area of your life. And that one decision is to attach discipline to your identity. Now, when I say attaching it to your identity, you have to make it to where when they hear, insert your name, Kevin, when they hear Kevin, oh, damn, that dude Kevin is fucking disciplined. That's the only way you're going to get the body that you want. It's the only way you're going to make the money that you want. It's the only way you're going to have the relationships that you want is through discipline. I used to think discipline was a, was a bad word, right? When I used to think about discipline, fat bricks, this guy, right? This guy right here, when he heard discipline, he thought about a kid being punished. It felt like punishment, but discipline really is freedom. Discipline my definition of discipline is choosing what you want most over what you want now. We're so, especially this generation nowadays, we're so programmed to wanting things right fucking now. And I'm pretty sure you can relate to that because a part of the reason why you've, you haven't been able to reach your, your weight loss goals or your health goals is because it wasn't, it wasn't happening fast enough. You didn't have the patience to endure the process. And that is where discipline kicks in. Again, it's choosing what you want most. You want a six pack. You want to feel confident. You want to feel strong. You want to be able to fit into, you know, those 32 jeans that you used to wear when you were in high school. You want that shit, but <laughs> you also want to eat fucking ice cream. You also want to eat four slices of fucking pizza. So you got to choose between what you want most and what you want now. And the key there is attaching discipline to your identity. Now, this is a process because right now you may be addicted to comfort. Let me ask you this. Do you find yourself avoiding doing hard things? That feeling that you get in your stomach when you think about, let's say you haven't been consistent in the gym for a long time, that feeling that you get in your stomach when you think about getting up earlier tomorrow morning to go to the gym. Have you been avoiding that? Do you run away from tough emotional moments or when you're feeling stress, what do you do? You turn to food? Is that, is that what you do? Do you, do you avoid tough conversations with your partner because you don't want to deal with the, the fucking turmoil that comes with that conversation? If that's you, just know that you're not alone. This is the issue with a lot of people it used to be my issue. This is when I was fucking addicted to mediocrity. This is when I was stuck, right? And it wasn't until I made the steps to slowly start to build my discipline because that is a, that you have to have that intention, right? That's the biggest takeaway. And I want to give you some practical tips on how to actually start to build your discipline because discipline, just like a bicep is a fucking muscle and you just have to work it. For a second, I want you to stop and think about the areas of your life that is affected by your lack of discipline. The first stop, in the mirror. Look at your body. Your body is a result of your choices. Your lack of discipline is fucking shows up in your physique. How is your relationship with your partner, right? Is there respect? Is there reverence? Is there safety? Is there security? What's the dynamic like? Are you disciplined in the way that you show up in your relationships? Ask yourself that question. Are you disciplined in your finances? Are you positioned financially where you should be? 
I'm asking you to ask yourself these questions because the more you can identify the painful parts of your life that has been fucking caused by your lack of discipline, the more energy you will find inside of yourself to drive you towards building better discipline. Now, when I found myself at 360 pounds, broke, toxic relationships, I knew I had to make a change and I knew that change had to start with the way that I thought. I also fully understood that the reason why I gained all this fucking weight is because I was so addicted to the comfort of not being disciplined. As a result, my life fucking fell apart and my health fell apart. Now, once I found myself in this situation in life and it took me really getting to a really tough, dark fucking place, I was damn near, I was, I was thinking about taking my own life. And it was from that place that I decided that I needed to become a different version of myself. I had to reinvent myself. And the first building block that I wanted to build myself with is discipline. I needed to rebuild my trust for myself. I had to rebuild my confidence. You got to understand discipline and confidence go hand in hand. You become confident when you do hard things. You do hard things when you fucking lock in with discipline and you commit to a process, be it building a fucking million dollar business or transforming your body. It's all the same. The principles apply across the board. So you have to understand that in order to transform your life, transform your relationship with your partner, transform your physique, you're going to have to embrace the discomfort that comes with discipline. But it's freeing. There's nothing more freeing than knowing that you can trust yourself to go through hard things because guess what? It's a part of the fucking human experience. We cannot avoid challenging moments. And the more you condition yourself to show up to challenging moments consistently, there's this term, right? It says, when you do hard things, life becomes easy. When you do easy things, life becomes hard. Some shit like that. But it speaks to the power of building the mental resiliency. Right. Once you start to do what you now think is hard, what you now think is hard becomes easy. Right. And that's how you slowly start to ascend in life. I was taught discipline through my weight loss journey. I was taught the power of commitment, the power of doing fucking hard things when I didn't feel like doing them. I was able to see firsthand what happens when I commit to going through the sucky part of the process. You got to understand that's the part of the weight loss journey, the part of whatever journey you're on that fucking challenges you. That is the medicine. That is the part that transform you internally. That's the part that works on your character, that works on your integrity, that builds you from the inside out. So let's talk about some practical ways you can develop discipline. The first thing you should do is identify what areas of your life that you need to improve. Take a look at your body. Take a look at your habits. Take a look at your finances. Take a, take a look at your relationship with your significant other. Take a look at your relationship with your, with your children. What areas should you address that has the highest impact on your overall feelings of accomplishment? I would take some time to write that shit down. The next thing I would do is try to figure out some actions that I can take right a fucking way today. Plug yourself into a community, get some accountability, get some support. Here's the thing. We have this lone wolf mentality, most of us, right? Most men, oh, we could do this shit by ourselves. No, we are not designed to do this shit by ourselves. We all need accountability. We, listen, if I didn't have my brothers in my corner checking me whenever the fuck I'm getting lazy, whenever I'm dropping a ball or whenever I'm losing focus, I don't know where I would be. And a lot of us, we don't have that. A lot of us, because most of you watching this are leaders, you're the one always checking on everyone else, but there's no one checking you. You need to plug yourself into a group. You need a brotherhood. You need a tribe. That is exactly why I created the We Are God's program. So that men can connect with other men who are fucking building themselves from scratch. So that we can have the conversations about the shit that we can't talk to our significant others about. We can't talk to our mom, our sisters about. We can't even talk to our brother about it because he is on a different mindset. He's on a different frequency mentally and emotionally. You got to have a place to deposit all of your shit so that we together can work through it because you're not different from me. 
I'm not different from anyone else. We're all struggling with the same shit, especially if we share values, especially if we are driving our life in the same direction. It is so helpful to have that support. And honestly, if this is resonating with you, if you can identify with the shit that I'm describing, then this is your wake up call. You need to join my Savage Six Week Challenge, right? Because this whole entire challenge is about cultivating the discipline by tapping into a community where you're gonna be held accountable, where you're gonna be given the tools, where you're gonna be given everything you need to show up for yourself to create a six week transformation within yourself that has the potential to shift everything in your life. You'd be surprised what a six week lock-in can do for your confidence, what it can do for your body, what it can do for how you energetically show up for your family. If you're at a place where you can't even look yourself in the mirror, the pain is so fucking unbearable, you know you need drastic change. Click the link, join the challenge. I'm taking 15 men through a six week journey of transformation. Push past the discomfort that you're feeling right now because that, that voice in your head telling you that this isn't for you, that's fucking, that's the weakness inside of you talking. So I challenge you to push past that and I challenge you to join this challenge and to commit to yourself because you'd be surprised. I think you would blow your own fucking mind if you committed for six weeks in this environment Everything can change. And click the link in the description and sign up for the challenge right now. And if you're not at the place where you're ready to join this challenge, do something to create a community of support. You cannot try to do this shit by yourself. Get the support, get the accountability that you need. You need a brotherhood. Discipline thrives in community. Listen to me, discipline unlocks everything that you are seeking in life. The health, the body, the relationships, right? The love, the money, all of that is magically unlocked when you attach discipline to your identity. Making the choice to pursue this higher disciplined version of yourself is the highest form of self-respect. It's the highest form of self-love. This is how you gain your trust back. This is how you build your confidence. And it happens through daily choices. You're, you're not who you say you are, you are what you do. And think about this. If all of your habits, your daily decisions, if you continue that for the next 10 years, where does that leave you? I want you to visualize if nothing changes, if you don't take action right now and you stay the same for the next 10 years, what does your body look like? What does your health look like? What does your relationships look like? I want you to really fucking harness the, the pain of being in a place where you don't want to be because it will happen if you don't lock the fuck in, bro. It will happen. I believe in you. I don't have anything fucking special. I made a decision to attach discipline to my identity. And lo and behold, I made a bunch of fucking money and I got a six pack and now all the fucking women want me. And I say that shit humbly, but it's not, it's not because of what I look like. It's because of who the fuck I know I am because of what I learned about myself in the fire, what I learned about myself during the process of developing discipline. How you do anything is how you do everything. I don't give a fuck if you got a $100,000 career going for yourself. If you're fat, you're not successful. If you're unhappy, you're not successful. If your partner doesn't respect you, you're not successful, bro. You're not. It's time to lock in. I got you. I would love to be a part of your journey. Tap in with me if you're ready. And remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.